Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Crusader Kings 2 Habsburg Millennium uh, with the Conclave DLC. Uh, I'm rolling the dice on this. So, there's potential that the game might not work. Uh, it seems to load okay. I was warned, however, that uh, as I loaded it, that it was not recommended. And also, our laws have changed. So the royal laws of the Kingdom of Burgundy are back to being Gavelkind. Uh We could look to maybe switching it back to elective. Um, <clears throat> well, we'll have to see about that. Uh, what else have we got going on? There's, there's tons of new stuff. And as I've been saying to myself for a while, there's tons of new depth added in. Uh, just for instance, we've got uh, Lutgard here requiring a childhood focus. So let's go take a look at that. We've now got focuses for kids, which is great. So we got heritage and faith. I'm guessing that would be learning about your family. That's learning about Jesus or Muhammad or, you know, Thor or whoever is in your religion. Uh, we got duty and we got thrift. We got pride and we got struggle. We got etiquette and humility. So taking a look at Lutgard here. She's already looking pretty diplomatic. So I'm thinking we're going to make her an etiquette uh, princess. Focuses are playful and in indolent. Sure, let's do that. Oh, what else have we got? We got two ch children lacking in education focus. So Frederica here, who, uh, you know, she's going to be... Becoming an adult in less than a year, we'll still give her a focus and taking a look at it, she's got quite a learning focus, so we will give her a learning education. Timid and idolizers will do better with this education, while brooding and playful children will be hampered. We don't gotta really worry about that, that is something we'll have to look at for all the coming children, but for now, we're just assigning things that don't technically exist, and... Heinricha here, who's, you know, going to be an adult a little bit later than uh, Frederica. She's looking more intriguing, so we will go with an intriguing education. Playful and fussy children will do better with this education, while rowdy and affectionate children will be hampered. Let's do that up. So we got whole new focuses, which is neat. Uh, we also got Prince Philip of Burgundy here, who's got no focuses yet, and we should probably assign him one. Considering he is going to be our heir, I'm tempted. Well, let's go back. I'm tempted to go with a diplomatic focus. Um, so we will go with etiquette for him as well. Playful and indolent? Sure, why not? Let's do it. <clears throat> what else have we got going on? Well, we got the council, which should have changed around a little bit. We can see here uh, Peter the Just is a powerful vassal, but he's just a double count. So, you know... Uh, same with uh, Lambert here, but, you know, we're not going to really be too concerned about that. Do we have a better steward? We must have a better steward. We do not have a better steward. That is sad. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I don't really know fully uh, how all of this stuff is going to get changed around. My word, do we have a lot of minor titles to hand out. Okay, well, we'll figure that out at some point. Um, taking a look at our council, we've got pretty much everybody. Does anybody else want to be on the council? Ambitions. Let's see, become chancellor. What are you? You're a powerful vassal, so we should probably have you, the Count of Grissons, on our uh, council as well. We could enforce realm peace, it looks like, but I don't think we got to worry about that because none of my vassals are fighting each other. We got three powerful vassals, we've got a zealot, we've got three pragmatists, and two glory hounds. So that's going to factor in into how things are going to work in the future, uh, making decisions and that we're going to have to go through the council now. We just can't decide to do things on our own unless we change our nation around. Now that's going to get complicated. Um, we're taking a look at now the council of our liege, and I'm not seeing us anywhere, which is... Which is surprising, 
considering I think we're our we're our liege's strongest vassal. So um, there's got to be a way to demand I get on the council. Let's take a look. A mass. Oh no, that's become chancellor. So I guess we're looking for a council placement. Uh, this council. So we'll see if that means that it's going to go to that council. Like I say, I don't really know how this works, but we'll figure all that out as we go, and hopefully uh, the game will continue. Like I say, our laws have changed around a little bit. Uh, namely, we're back to Gavelkind. So that's something we might want to be cautious of. I don't think I really got to worry about it too much with uh, my wife being 36 now. But in the future, if we can't get that changed back to elective, which I think I'm going to stick with, to be honest, then, um, well, I mean, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do. But I can't see elective not being picked. The Order of Calatravia is the most recent addition to the Soldiers of the Cross. Congratulations. Now, basically, what? so here's what I'm hoping. Uh, with me being able to hopefully get on the council, I'm really, really hoping I can get Valet uh, assigned to me. Because there's no real way to demand 1,500 gold for a favor. Woo! That is pricey. But there's got to be a way for me to demand to get on his council... That is not what I wanted to do. Maybe I do have to cancel the ambition to become Chancellor next year, and then try to get on there. We'll see. Count Gunther's justice has brought peace to a troubled province. Fewer crimes are committed and fewer complaints are heard in the province. Yay! So I'm actually really excited about this DLC, the uh, Conclave Editions. Like I say, mainly because it, it should, in theory, from what I've read, from what little I've read, um, it should, you know, give more meat to the bones of the game. Uh, I've been corresponding regularly with my sister Ulrich, and always make sure to see her whenever I get the chance. Family's important. Uh, the Lords of the Holy Roman Empire have approved the institution of Kingdom Vice Royalty Laws, which makes sense, because that was uh, something that was there before. So let's go over this. Um... <clears throat> New realm laws, right? So we got the inheritance laws, which are, as you can see, back to Gavelkind. That's an easy enough switch. Not too bad. We got our realm laws here with Papal Investiture and um, free control realm inheritance. Vassal titles do not have any special regulations on inheritance outside the realm. So if we were to make that illegal, nobody outside the realm could inherit inside our lands, which might be helpful. Um, but we'll figure that out. Centralization and status of women, low and, well, minimum and traditional. So we can change that around if we need to. Uh, honestly, getting centralization up might not be a bad idea. Although our domain limit is already huge for what we're using. Uh, we don't necessarily need to up that right away. And the status of women could be increased, that is for sure. But as we can see, most of my council would not approve. The only person who would be like, yeah, we can make women slightly more equal... Uh, would be Gunther. And so what this will allow is uh, women to hold some power occupying background positions behind the people in charge. It is allowed for women related to the ruler to hold the office of spymaster. So I would imagine that's wife and or, you know, family who could become the spymaster of the realm. Which does make me think that this would be helpful as time goes on. And as you can see, you know, once if we get up to full... Um, the, you know, women are basically men. So, in the eyes of the law, of course. Uh, what else we got? Vassal obligations, straight down the middle, basically where I want to keep it. We could go more towards levy or more towards taxes, but as it stands now, we're getting 20% tax, and um, I, at least I think that's what that means. So, we're, we'll just leave it there, and then obviously the council as well. These are the council powers. Uh, they are an empowered council. Uh, to declare war on anyone, we're going to have to get the council to agree. To revoke titles, we're going to have to get the council to agree. To imprison, we're going to have to get the council to agree. Thankfully, we don't need the council to agree to grant titles, to banishment, or to execution. So we still have some power, but it certainly isn't as um, strong a position as we used to have. <clears throat> Which is fine. You know, that'll be 
that's fine. I don't really care about that. Uh, what do we need to build now that we got the tech? Maybe castle infrastructure would be the best way to go, because it looks like most of our holdings in Habsburg are exactly at the height. So we could get more stables, more castle towns, more jousting lists. Although, let's be honest, if we want to do it smart, we should probably pick construction so everything will build quicker. And while we're at it too, let's get town infrastructure. Why not? We could use level two universities. I don't know if we've even got a level one. We'll look into that. And, um, what else? I'm guess well, maybe, maybe temple vassals. Let's see. It's like, it's a split, but I think we'll actually go with city vassals. Not that we have a lot in the way, well, we'll just go both and that solves that problem. There we go. So, um, plans for the empire. Obviously we need Valet. But I'm hoping with, you know, getting on the king's council, uh, however we go about doing that, and let's be honest, the king, the emperor should probably have us on his council, because we're the strongest vassal he's got. Um, outside of getting that, we're going to need to look at expanding into Provence, really. Uh, mainly because if we're going to want nice, and we're going to want nice, we should probably have a land border. And thanks to friendly, helpful comments, uh, I can see quite clearly that we will not have a land border to Nice without Provence or uh, Saluzzo. So I think Saluzzo might be the way to go. Let's check this guy out. He's got one pact with the Duchess of Provence. Well, that's that's fine. It's just a non-aggression pact, so you know it's good to have a non-aggression pact with your wife. Um, but I think we will want to lay claim to, uh, Saluzzo here. So, let's take our, uh, good old-fashioned Chancellor, who's not really doing anything, and probably wants to do something and fabricate a claim for us on there. Now, one of the things, they've added two things militarily to this game. One of the things which I imagine is probably going to be continually tweaked for the next little bit is aggressive expansion. Those of you who played uh, EU4 understand what that means. Uh, Focus the Hunter has usurped the title County of Dubrovnik from Humbert. Well, there you go. Stuff is going on out east. Um, so yeah, aggressive expansion. States will react. Oh, that is a new death sound. There we go. That's going to take some getting used to. Um, so yeah, so so other nations will react to you expanding. Now, at, at the moment, people have been testing this out. I've been doing some reading in my spare time at, um, <clears throat> at work today, let's be honest. And uh, it, it seems like you can get some incredibly aggressive, aggressive expansion. Uh, someone in the 769 start was Charlemagne and, and Consul cheated his way to get uh, the Byzantine Empire and basically the entire world. So Christians in Ireland and, you know, Hindus in, in India all teamed together to go after Charlemagne, which is, it's ridiculous, let's be honest. Especially when there's already a system that blocks like further geographic regions from interacting with each other. So I imagine that'll get tweaked. I hope it doesn't affect us too much at this stage, but, um, you know, that's something to keep in mind. And there's also Shattered Retreat, which can make chasing down tiny little armies a little bit of an annoyance, uh, instead of just, you know, the exact opposite of what it is now, where you can slam into an army and utterly destroy it in one battle. I've been making an effort to spend more time with my brother Nicholas lately. Wonderful. So, yeah, so there's still some tweaks and stuff, which I hope, you know, won't really affect us that much. Uh, but time time will tell. And, um, yeah, basically, I'm just excited to, uh, to have some more in-depth interactions than just, you know, here's a start 500 years from when the game ends. My daughter's arrived at my court? 
Were you just off getting educated? No, you definitely were not off getting educated. Let's see if we can't find you a husband, shall we? Would result in a non-aggression pact with King Sancho the Young. Let's see, who else have we got here? Who have we got that might be useful to us? Maybe a Duke of Seville? The age difference is a bit large there. So you know what, screw it, let's just go with the King of Spain. Or Castile, I should say. It's definitely not Spain yet. And who knows if it will be with France owning uh, the southern, you know, third of Iberia thanks to uh, a pretty damn convenient crusade. Oh, let's, let's unpause the game so time actually ticks by. That might be a good idea. I accept your suggestion that Ursula and King Sancho V get married. And now, Katrina, you need a childhood focus. So what are you good at? We'll give you a, um, let's go with thrift. Curious and fussy. Sounds about right. My liege, my work in Saluzo seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, and extorting, and threatening, and forging documents, I have managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Saluzo. That is good news. We got the prestige. We got the money. We might as well uh, take it. And we got the forces as well, I think. 600 men to my many thousands of men. Okay, yeah, we got this in the bag. Let's just make sure you got just your non-aggression pact. As far as I can tell, you've got no other alliances. So... Allies, nobody and nobody. Oh, we'd be considered a truce breaker. Well, that's not good. We got till, wow, we've got many years to go. Really? Oh uh, yeah, till 1179. I guess we must have got Beamont from him or something. Anyway, we got a, oh no, it was probably the land in Provence. So we gotta just wait that out and that's fine. Mayor Markwad feels I risk too much with my escapades. Well, Markwad, that is fine. You can feel that. Uh, oh, come on. Who's the county of Piedmont? Really? You are at war with him? Oh, well, I mean, technically that land will go to me, so I'm not that concerned about it. Um... Let's take a look. You don't like me that much. That might be why you're not putting me on your council. So let's see if we can't improve some relations with you. And I should check. Let's see. Declare, arrange, arrange, educate, transfer, request excommunication, and... That would be neat if we could pull that off, but I don't think the Pope is going to be all that keen on it. And for some reason... The Pope isn't a big fan of us, which is a little concerning. Can, would that work? No, no, you wouldn't. You don't like that, do you? Well, that's too bad, but that's neat that we can actually nominate. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 because, oh, wait a second. <gasps> Did that change? Two votes were for and five were against. Damn it, Council, why are you... Look, yes, of course I'm going to, and you, who's a loyalist, will. But people who are glory hounds don't want war? This doesn't make sense. Alright, what'll it take for you? Ah, we gotta buy fav 40 ducats. All right, well, we'll buy your favor, right? And so then that should be, really? Come on. I graciously accept your gift and will remember your good intentions in the future. Okay. One character owes me a favor. 
perfect. We're going to need more than one if we're going to get this war declared, though. So how do I call in a favor? You owe me one. Uh, let's see. Call in council support. You have uh, on Argyle will vote as you do on council for 36 months. Okay, good. So we got that. So that's three. So we need two more favors, do we? And I would imagine it's probably going to be more expensive to buy favors from landed people. So let's go with you and you. Will not accept my op you son of a Already I'm I'm frustrated, which is good. This is what the game needs. Not technically more frustration, but you know, more stuff to do. Peter the Just, come on, buddy. No! Conflicting interests, why? Well, this just won't do. All right, one character owes me a favor, so you, we can probably call you in. Call into council support. Offer a 200 gold donation to my liege. He'll owe me a favor. Maybe we can just like get the land then. Uh, we'll see. Okay, good. Okay, well now everybody's on board. People are like, yeah, that's fine. We bought you two, you three are in, claim valet. All right, well, let's just do that. And hopefully he can't call in his liege. I don't think he can. We'll see. Let's see, 30th of October, and I doubt you're getting out of there quick enough. Can we go north? No, we can't. So we'll just disband you. Man, my kingdom is getting too big. It's going to take forever for these armies to march across. Which is fine. At this stage, wow, we need better commanders. Let's get rid of those. Like, we got... Dieter here of Piemont. But I guess... You're probably leading your troops already. So... But, like... This guy. That's... Just not a good commander. And then... Who else have we got? You're... Well, but eight... I mean, eight's better than four, but it's not... A huge improvement. So we can put Manfred there and then we could have uh, Cosimo there. That should take care of all of my... I don't want to be ruling or leading troops so let's just break that. Furthermore, why am I leading troops from way in the south? We've lost a whole bunch of people I've inherited that? Alright, well, we'll sort through that in a bit. Once we get Valet. Yeah. I should have seen that coming. That's okay, though. Maybe we can see the Shattered Retreat work now. So, yeah. They can just, they can just walk away. Come on, there we go. All right, so they got what? Where are you going to? Neuchâtel? Which is... there. So let's just follow them. Those guys should be able to hold their own briefly against that um, retreating valet army. Oh, they're just full on in in retreat, retreat. Okay, that makes sense because that's how shattered retreat works. I'm on the ball now. 
Uh, plot where Enzo of Bologna seeks to kill Manfred of Neuchatel. That's probably not a good thing. Um, we do have the auto plots to turn off, though, so... I would imagine that just, that just ends, right? You are fabricating on the Duchy of Savoy. Now, I don't... Whoa, let's close that down here. What lands do you rule... I'm not against granting out... Now that I've got a king title, I'm not against granting out duchy titles. Uh, provided he doesn't have a claim... <clears throat> on my kingdom. He does have a claim on the upper... On the duchy that I've got. So that might be something to, wor to worry about. But let's focus on getting Valet first. You want to come fight? Just just come on home. You're not going to find lands you can siege you down with 700 men. That's just, it's not going to happen. We're far too built up for that. And in fact, we can probably tick this up to speed four. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many, and time seems to slip away. Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can feel the taste of blood in your mouth, and dizziness is setting in. Help! No need to draw attention to myself now. I think we'll ask for help. I'm not above it. You hear the voice of Bishop Otto just before you pass out. As you wake up the next morning, it feels as if your head is about to explode. But at least you're safe. Thanks. Thanks, Otto. So I guess I owe Otto a favor now. My mission to Baden has so far been a success during my visit to the court of Kaiser Hartman the Just. Good. You should like me more, sir. Argau has never seen a shortage of soldiers, and that is true. What do we got? We need an education focus for my affectionate and charitable daughter, Princess Lutgard. And I think... A little bit of a diplomatic education would serve her well. She's not willful, willful or fussy. She's just, well, she's an affectionate kid, so, you know, the, the diplomacy should go a long way. I expected some letters today, but couldn't find any. I was suspicious at first, but when I asked Katharina, she pointed to a table where they were already sorted for me, untouched. Aw, thank you! You're a good kid. Alright. The Siege of Grayers is done. And I'm also noticing that this looks like it's just a normal, regular old holding now. Or has it always been? I think it may have always been. Well, not always, but recently. As a reigning king, I rarely have any spare time, but for my little daughter, Katharina, I would move heaven and earth. Because she sorts my mail, so she's a good kid to have around. We're still a fair ways off from upgrading the keep in Habsburg, so we'll just have to sit tight and let that come along. Now you can march around my land all you want. You are not going to be getting any more advancements done in this war. How's this fight going? How's my vassal doing? Food and supplies have been smuggled in. What happened? Hartman just... No! <sighs> so close. So, so close. Increased council power in Burgundy. <clears throat> Why? I don't know what more power I can give you guys. So, let's give you an honorary title of Keeper of the Swans. 
plus five, plus five, plus five. I don't know if I just want to make some random old dude, you know, in charge of my feasts. Well, maybe that would be a good idea. We should, that'll, that'll bring him in. He's a little bit happier with us, and he is possessed. So it's this guy here, Dieter. <clears throat> maybe what we should do is get him over there talking to Dieter and just saying, look. I've received a request for additional funds from my spy master Lambert. He's worried that it is too easy for spies to make their way inside your home. Yeah, it can't hurt to be a little safer. So now that the uh, emperor here has that land, there should be... Like we should just... <laughs> it's amazing my council will vote yes for that. How much, how many men do you have? You've got far too many troops. <clears throat> Although I guess, you know, the war didn't work. So let's try, yeah, t too many people are concerned about my escapades. Let's try sending our liege a gift. Let that tick away. <laughs> I had no idea that was our... Kaiser's last name, Hartman Huppeldinger, has decided to accept your donation offer. Now we have leverage on him. We must make sure to use it wisely. Yeah, you bet I will. It's called Give Me Land That Belongs to Me. Ask for realm peace? No, just ask for the land that is for me. I don't care about enforcing peace. Yeah, can you press claims on the land that you own that I should have? That should work, right? My food has tasted strange lately, and I've begun to eat less and less for fear of being poisoned. Well, let's get the Empress Dowager Emma of the Byzantine Empire in here. Because, you know, she should know some stuff. She'll come all the way from Constantinople, because she can do that. And uh, she can investigate who's poisoning me. Earlier today, my spy master Lambert presented his plan to catch any sneaky spies at court. He's weakened the floorboards in strategic places to make sure a creaking noise is always heard when someone moves around during the night. Is that really what we spend all that money on? Now, if only I could get rid of this terrible headache. That is a long hangover. To be completely sure the food was not food was or was not poisoned, Empress Dowager Emma required a certain expensive equipment. It's... Whoa! Of course, take all my money. It's 30 ducats. That apparently didn't... Oh, there we go. With the expensive equipment acquired, Empress Dowager Emma did a thorough examination. And it did not take long before she presented me with the results. The cook had used rancid meat in the stew and tried covering up the taste with a lot of spices. Some poisonous unless used in moderation. Alright. Well, that's good news. <clears throat> I would like to give you a seat at my council and therefore offer you the title of Chancellor. I'm going to accept that. And I would like to now use my council position. Yay! To get land that belongs to me. That should work, right? Uh, would acquire title. There we go. Yeah, that seems good. And we can now ask our liege for a title. And you should give me... You are a bedrock of loyalty, the cornerstone of the realm. Truly there is support for your claim in the Bible. I know that the Lord will reward you in time. So I just gotta wait for Jesus to give me valet? Because I don't think that's gonna happen. You owe me a favor, you control land that's mine, and you're just gonna like, leave it up to Jesus. To the proud wit Gebhard, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Please support me by voting with me in the council. If you agree to do this for me, I will henceforth owe you a favor. Well, what do you want? You want to acquire a title 
The Duke of Col... Oh. Ah, I see. So let's take a look at the Lieges Council, where we are. We're a glory hound, apparently. And then this dude, who's also a glory hound, wants us to vote with him. So I don't see why we wouldn't. Okay. You can owe me a favor. And when it comes time for demanding a valet, we will get there. Oh, I guess we could just, we could choose what we want. We'll stick with Glory Hound for now. Uh, let's see. Slothful, brave, proud, gregarious, and just. There is nothing in there that would suggest you would sleep with another member of your family, so it's just, it's not appropriate. And we'll leave it as it is. Man, I just, I really want to get Valet. That's all I want right now. I just want Valet. I write to you with bad news from Argao. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met with resistance, and the peasants are arming themselves. Troublesome peasants. I've been corresponding regularly with my daughter Lutgerd. She's in Argao, or she's freaking in the Castle Habsburg, but, you know, we'll write to her. I, I teach her every day, but I'm still going to write to her family first course but you got to keep your distance I'm not sure like what what more could that maybe grant titles I guess we could let the uh... let the council in on maybe executions? Because I don't really execute people. Uh, we're, we're conversing with our brother. That's good. During my stay at the court of a noble in Messon, I have done my utmost to present my liege in a more favorable light and have him recognized as bene benevolent and peaceful ruler that he is. We're doing good work for the Empire. Here's hoping the Empire does some good work for us as well. How long before we can get an elective monarchy? No vassal has a negative opinion of me. Who has a negative? Oh, I know who. Dieter. Uh, why do you hate me so, Dieter? You want a seat on the council. I don't think we got room on the council, man. I think, I think we're all full. My council. Yeah, we're full up. So... I guess I could get rid of my marshal, but he does owe me a favor. So I don't necessarily want to get rid of him just to get the count of the, the, the count of Pimon up there, but that might be a good thing to do. Of course, dude's probably gonna die soon anyway. So, you know, that's fine. Now we gotta we got this little hunk of land down here. And I think what I'll do is I'll save that for uh, Philip. Just so he gets a little bit of experience ruling a court uh, before he takes over the kingdom. I'll go to the feast. Maybe there we can discuss the situation of Valet. The Knights of Santiago have arisen. Congratulations. And we got much... I mean, we still have a little bit of a Muslim presence in Iberia, so that does make sense. Hartman! I guess I should use his title, shouldn't I? Kaiser Hartman greeted us warmly to his feast. Wine was served in the most delicious aromas came from the kitchen. Thank you! It's been fun. Are you still at war? You're still at war, but I'm noticing you don't have troops. I'm a little concerned by that. Why don't you raise some troops? Seriously, your troops are there, and you have 1,500. And they have 100. You should move your troops and, and attack. Hol Hotan, hold on. Hotan Holy War for... That seems... Oh. Well, I was not expecting that. I was definitely not ex expecting the Empire of Bukhara here to be uh, Catholic. That is really strange that they're Catholic. 
When I introduced my friend to Empress Dowager Emma, I had high hopes. I hoped they would become fast friends so we could spend time together, the three of us. That does, that does make a lot of sense. Especially since you drug your sister all the way from Constantinople to uh, Argao just to, you know, find out my cook uses rancid meat. Aldrich is no longer Marshall, so that takes care of that problem. And uh, we'll slap Dieter in there, who should be excited to be, you know, now on the council. Right, Dieter, you should be up in here. Yes, and you are. So that should mean all my vassals like me, which should mean we can become an elective thingy. We just have to rule for ten years. Now, with the change of the law, or with the... The, um... Thing... With the expansion, I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Uh, I've been corresponding regularly with my sister, Ul Ulrich. There we go, lovely. And taking a look. I should probably end the episode. Ooh, this has already gone on uh, long enough. So, there we go. We'll take the Habsburgs. We'll make sure to not compress the save game data. That's fine. And, yeah. I'm excited. Um, I'm liking this, this DLC already. So, thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Today's episode, leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.